Greetings, person currently watching this, and welcome back to Penumbra Necroleach. So, for this episode, I've bumped up the volume even more. Though for you guys, you probably won't notice. It just means that I have to talk at a higher register. Also, I found what I needed. It was a hammer. And it was in the pump room. I don't know if you remember the, the room with the, uh, the valves that I tried turning. I didn't thoroughly check that room because I got distracted by the dog. But now, we have what we need to open you. I'm willing to bet. You go like this. Yeah. Are you hitting it? Um, Philip, you do know on the other side of the hammer, not the, the flat side, but the sharp side, you do realize that side of the hammer is meant for removing nails. And that nails are those little metal things they use to hold wood together? Whatever, give me that. Can I not pick it up? Did I already pick it up? Oh, there it is. Oh, just one. Well, honestly, it's dynamite, so yeah, one should be enough. Alright, cool. So, we have dynamite. We have a place to put the dynamite. And hopefully the dog hasn't shown up in this area. So long as he hasn't, we should be able to get to where we need to go. See, that thing being where it is makes me think that he's supposed to be here. Whatever, I'm glad he's not. Screw that dog. <sighs> Something is not right here. What? That's never good. What's not right? What's not right? I hear something. Oh yeah, um, doggy knocked down that door. How about you go away? Show sure there's some lovely tin can food you could be- Oh, that's what's not right here. There was a door there. <laughs> there was a hole here. It's gone now. If you can get that reference, high five! You know, uh, pretend high five. Okay, so did our thingamabobber change? No, it did not. Alright, so can I go through this door, though? Is that going to be a possibility? Okay, so... Oh. Okay. For a second there, I thought that was the dog's eyes. So, that's where... That don't sound good. That don't sound good at all. Okay, so... Where are we then? Let me get this out. Okay, so... We came up here. No. no sorry, we were here. We came here. So... We need to be going the opposite direction by the looks of it. We need to be heading that way instead. Okay. Everybody, just be quiet and listen. And if you hear the sounds of something moving around, uh, pretend that you can tell me. And then when I don't hear it, and it sneaks up behind me, smacks me in the butt for all my HP, we can pretend it was your fault, and not my own stupidity. Well, so far, so nothing. And I should probably stop getting myself so worked up, huh? Well, again, though, that's the point of these games, you know? You're supposed to get scared. Okay, so that's... Very... Okay, so this is where the dynamite needs to be placed. Don't know how far away I'm gonna need to get, but I'm gonna... Book it. Okay, so where do I need to put the dynamite exactly? Don't tell me on the thing. Um, other findings. Okay, looks like... The wall I'm looking at right now. This one. Right here. I'm afraid that one stick of dynamite won't be enough. Just in the explosion. Oh, okay. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna crouch. Okay, where were there gas canisters? And... But, okay, again, first off, Philip, why did you use the flat side of the hammer to destroy the box when you could have used the opening side of the hammer to open the box? Second off, if one stick of dynamite wasn't going to be powerful enough, why didn't you grab more than one stick of dynamite? Ugh. 
I can see why, you know, I can see why Clarence is angry all the time now. Um. <laughs> can guess answers. Highly pressurized, that's it. But, uh, is there a reason why they were glowing red? Because red is usually a color associated with pain. And I don't like pain. I have a severe allergy to pain. I don't know, maybe I should just, shouldn't just get myself so worked up. Don't know if getting myself worked up like this is gonna make, or at least being paranoid like this, is gonna make the scare worse. Or if just jackassing around not caring at all and not focusing on the game itself would make the scare worse because then, you know, I wouldn't be uh, anticipating it or seeing it coming. But like I said, by soaking in the atmosphere like I am right now, working myself up, so I don't know which one would be the worst scare. Getting caught off guard or being caught while you're all paranoid. Alright, so will you snap into place? Yes, you will. Okay, and I'm guessing I need to go back and grab that. I wonder if I need to... How many of those I'm going to need to grab? I'm Somehow I'm doubting two is going to be enough. I'm sure I have to explore this whole area. Hmm. Well, so far... Uh, so far, the no creatures come to attack me, but... That might change soon-ish. You know, I might put down this gas canister and then they'll realize, Hey! Somebody's in there! We should kill him dead! Alright, so. Next gas canister. Gonna grab you up. And you're gonna come with me. And I'm willing to bet you're not gonna be the last. Because usually in video games, when you have to do stuff like this, it's in threes. Don't know why, but that's just how it works. Everything happens in threes. Alright. Nothing. Alright. Uh, screw it. Just get up and start walking. Because the thing is, is the monsters in this game, they really, especially if you listen, they really do announce their presence. I don't think anything is ever going to, like, really sneak up on you and catch you off guard. It's going to let you know where it's at. So if a monster shows up, it'll probably make a loud noise when it appears. Or in the very least, as it's walking, it'll be making lots of noise. Okay, so we need more. I'm guessing. Probably should actually go back and check, huh? Let's go do that right quick. I'm sure it won't be enough, but I would rather check and make doubly sure than to wander around assuming that it's not enough and have it actually be enough. Yes, okay. I think two canisters and one explosive pack would be enough to break away. Okay. So I'm guessing I need to light it and then run. I must get to cover! This should be enough cover! Alright, now let's quickly get through the hole because that explosion wasn't exactly quiet. You know, despite all the hardships, I was glad to stay in your body. It was very funny to bully you and browse through a hundred of your thoughts. There are even a couple of smart ideas among them. Each of us has their own role. My role has come to an end. It's time for me to leave. You'll understand everything soon enough. <laughs> Goodbye, monkey. Did he just kill me? Did he steal my body? Oh, I'm laying on my side. Okay, so... My head is killing me. Where am I? Looks like some sort of weird tunnel. Some sort of really weird tunnel. Okay, got this thing. Wherever you're supposed to be. Looks like a light. Ah, okay, so that's the way I came from. I think I'm starting to remember. Clarence! He could have just... have disappeared! Like that. He couldn't. Oh, yeah, he couldn't have just disappeared like that. What are you up to this time? I don't know. Clarence is always scheming. He's one of them schemers. You know? But then again, he is kind of a sentient virus. What was that? Should I be worried about that?
It sounds like a mix between a stomach growling, a monster growling, a very large monster growling, and a motorcycle engine. Or just like a really, really old engine in a car that has, and the engine hasn't been serviced for a while. So it does a lot of sputtering. Do I need to move you? No, okay, so I won't need to do anything with these then. That's what I'm guessing. Push for safety and mobile cover. Because you, I've done that. You do that in games. What old games have you done that in? I believe you did that in Red Dead Redemption, didn't you? Oh, okay, we good. Oh, silence. Seems that there hasn't been water inside it for quite a while. Oh, it's a pump. Okay. I thought it was gonna be like a hallway. Ooh. Well, there's all the water. There's your problem right there. All the water is here. Even I really sit if 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 you like scorching flames, I touch my body. So it's hot water or steam. One of the two. Ooh. Hello. You open? Yes, you do. Let's keep you closed for now as I explore the rest of this area. Let's see what else I can see. Okay. Uh, that looks like a doorway. Ooh. That's that sound again. Eesh. You know what this is starting to remind me of? Okay, I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a let's play of it. It probably depends. Whichever ends first, whatever let's play I'm currently doing ends first, will be replaced with a game that I've been requested to play. But when the other one ends, I am definitely gonna play Metro. Even if it's just a more chilled thing, where ooh, the gate is locked and likely to, uh, oh, unlikely to ever open. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then I guess we need to go this way. So let's do this. Because I like being crouched. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to let go. Come on. Because. Oh, wait, what? No, don't do that. Yay! I solved a puzzle. Though I don't really think I solved it so much as exploited it. Back into the corner. Corner of safety. Oh, don't you start with this crap. I am not having this shit right now. Okay. All right, just take your time. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. We have a friend. We have a friend. Yeah, how's about you? Oh crap. Are you attracted to light? Oh, I think he's attracted to the light. Oh crap, crap, crap. Can I turn, take you off? Yeah. No! F Philip! See, this is why Clarence wanted to leave you. You're such an idiot. Seriously. It's no wonder you have so many bad ideas. You have the IQ of Bean Dip. Oh. Okay. Really wish I could take this off. That'd be really nice. Is, is there a way to. There. No. Well, at the very least, I can see where he's at, just as well as you can see where I'm at. Because both of us have a lot attached to our foreheads. If anything, I can always just look around corners, like so. Uh, looks like we're safe-ish for now. He's coming this way. Crap, 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 crap. let's go this way. I'm hoping there's only one, not multiples. Okay, uh, he's locked. Oh. Shit, what is going on? Why is everything getting intense? Oh, because he knows where I'm at. Oh crap, no you don't. Ah, yes you did. Crap, 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 dead end. Gotta move, gotta move. Gotta move to stay alive. No sense in closing the door behind me. Okay. Crap. Do you know where I'm at? Can you see me? Ah, shoot. Can I reach that through here? No, I can't. Pressure dropped to zero. Okay. 
think he knows where I'm at. No, I think he's over there or something. Okay, the needle and pressure gauge is at zero. No, it's still at zero. So then what do I need to do? Oh, crap. Yeah, it sounds like he's over there. And somehow he keeps spotting me. Nothing. Okay, so these don't work. This we've discovered. I'm guessing I need to either power them on. Okay. Let's get going. Um. Oh, crap, crap. Okay, maybe we don't ever lose him. Because he seems to constantly know where we're at. Okay. We'll get back through here. Is there any reason to be out here, though? Okay, so we have a broken thing. Don't know if we can find the valve for that, or if it's just permanently gone. Oh! Okay, so I did that somehow. That's cool and all, you know. Oh, okay, so apparently that's all I was supposed to do in there. Just whatever works for me. Now we can get going. Into a boiling lake of... Sulfuric gas. Let's push the cart. If we can, probably won't be able to. But it doesn't help to try. Not one bit. Come on! Pick up some speed! Can you pick up speed? I don't even know if you can pick up speed. I mean, you kind of look like you are. Are you even on the railings? You might not even be on the railings at all. Okay, nope, you broke. It fell. Oh well. Okay, so... Do we have anything to work with? Because I somehow doubt dropping down into that is going to be good for my life gauge. I'm guessing I need to do like hardcore parkours. Or something. Maybe. Ooh, I don't know. Try it! Yeah. Philip, you jackass! Oh, man, you are so useless. The fact that you were able... Seriously, Philip. The fact that you were able to get uh, to put your pants on the right way around, that was probably a miracle. Like a once in a lifetime miracle. Oh. Clarence's disappearance was bothering me. It was not like him. I have a feeling that all this time he was preparing me for something. But for what? I was completely baffled. He's probably trying to take your body again. Or at least he's probably trying to take your body. Because I didn't think last time he didn't try to take your body. Who can say, really? Maybe he's gonna take Amabel's body. Maybe he's gonna kill Amabel because he likes to torture you. And he's gonna kill her in such a way that you see it. Kinda like what they did to Jenny and Jackie in the darkness. Ooh. Pretty. Simply breathtaking. I agree. So. Can I get down there? in any way because I doubt jumping is gonna end in anything other than me dying pardon me maybe I'm supposed to simply jump because I don't think I saw anything back here that looks like it can be used it's a box yeah there's nothing all right Okay then, so I guess I just need to drop down and hope for the best. Alright, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop down, but before I do, I'm gonna preface this, you know, like preface, preface this, and say that I think it's a horrible idea. I survived! Alright, so can I... No? Am I not supposed to be here? I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be here. So, uh, am I supposed to just keep dropping down because I can't use the ladder? Oh, there again. Oh, okay. It's got like this really little tiny hitbox type thing that you have to click on. And if you don't get your thing over that, it won't consider it to work, which is really unfortunate. But, eh, whatever. Ah! I hate you so much, ladder. Okay, so we can go down this way if we wanted to. There's also a ladder over here. Can we take the ladder? I'm not sure if I want to take the ladder. 
It looks like you should be able to, you know, make the ladder go lower too. But again, Philip isn't exactly the brightest star in the sky now, is he? Kind of proven this time and time again. All right, so is something gonna bar my path? You know, this doesn't look like the way to Amabel. Just, uh, just saying. This looks like the way to death. This looks like. Oh. Why? Why? Why aren't you listening to me? I told you what to do. You cannot hear me. Hey, Philip. Hello. You must. Okay. So. Do I really have to go in there? Yeah, it's looking like I really have to go in there. Yeah, I should probably listen to Red, you know. I know, like, he's crazy and he's supposed to be dead and all, but, uh... Not going in here seems like a much better idea than, uh... Going in here. Everything fell into place. All my questions have disappeared. As if they had never existed. I should have come to this place long ago. It's time to pay the debts. What debts he's talking about, I don't know. Guess we'll find out now, won't we? So, we gonna see our friend the Jubilee Nibbler? Is he gonna make an appearance? Gonna cameo? Oh! Wouldn't you know, it finally cut out on us. Worthless thing. Oh, my magnet's gone. Why is my magnet gone? Whatever, my magnet's gone. Okay, yeah, no, we're not going down there. Can I move, throw the pallet jack down there? Hey, because you're a pallet, I think that's what you're called. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going down there. Not until we have been proven that that is the way we need to go. For reasons. Alright, let's go this way. Because it looked like all I do is just throw me into the abyss. And I would rather not go into the abyss right now. Okay. That looks like blood or something. Oh. Thing. Oh. Oh, that's okay. Never mind. Oh, what is this? Howard's book. It's painkillers. Alright. Um. Oh, flashlight. Yes. Alright, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to save here. Endless ruins. There is an answer to all my questions there. Somewhere. But it has to be earned. Anyways. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to end the episode here. Off camera, I will read Howard's note. Because that will probably give me some direction. At least I'm hoping it will. And then in the next episode, we will finish this off. Alrighty. So, hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Bye.